Hi everyone, I'm coming on to do a quick tutorial and it's for using the watermarking for your photographs. Now I do all my photography for my crafting on my phone. It's just so simple. I have a piece of white fabric that I just slip up if I just lift this and I'll show you actually how I do my I have this piece of white fabric. I basically use my little Buddha and my stapler. Stapler Buddha. I then just put that back. I have got a wee stain on my <laughs> white material I fold that over so no one sees it then where is it have I left it on there no nah, it's here it's hiding then I have my basic phone stand which is from Fairly Designs and it is super simple I have got a stamped piece of card with my details on it. It's not got my blog and all that, just my name. Whoops, come on, focus. This camera's a little wonky as well. It's a bit better. Because my son has been playing with my camera. Right, so... Then I just simply put my project on like that. I photograph it. The light is up there. And basically I flip my camera, which is normally, eh, sorry, my light is normally shining down on my table. When I am photographing, I switch the lamp round so it faces my wall, which is white, so I do get quite a good light source from that. And then I photograph it. So that is my super amazing photography studio. Um, it's just super simple, but it's efficient. Um, and it does the job for me. Then I just fold that up and throw it underneath my desk. <laughs> but the next stage is what I'm going through with you. So after I've photographed it, I now I have made this a bit darker so it's easier for you to see. But then I go into this app here. Now you can get a free one. Now the only difference you'll get with the free one is it tells you down the bottom it's like an advertisement if that doesn't bother you stick with the free one i'm a bit anal like that i prefer not to have it so the actual app that i have is one pound 99 not sure what that is in dollars but you just click on that um and you can take a photo there and then um, so if we go to select photos because I've already took the photo recently added now let me see because I have already made one with a watermark um, so this one won't be watermarked so done now you can create a text watermark or create a graphic watermark. I just need text. I'm not looking for anything all singing, all dancing. Okay? So you just go into create text. Click on text. And my watermark is... Let me just pull it up because I can't remember the word done that I put on it. I know I'm useless. Do -do 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 -do. Can pens 
it's just easier for me to do it this way. Right, so my watermark is, if I just minimise that, I can see it and see my screen. So I just type in Caramia Su, which is stamping up, dot blog spot. dot com return so that's my first line of text done okay then I go into images copyright so to get the copyright sign I went into my icons and if you go across to I can't remember what it's under under symbols you just put the copyright button which is that C with circle around it okay so that's what I've added up there and then I'm going to go back to text and I just put in stamping apostrophe is that apostrophe don't know I was rubbish at English. Up. And that's my watermark done. Okay. It's got my blog and then it's got the copyright. Now you can add the year, which is what they advise, but to be honest, I don't think it really matters. It would be maybe nice for yourself if you wanted to add it for, um, what do you call it? So that you know what year your catalogue it was from. So you could actually do, I don't know, maybe AW18, so you know it was open 1 to 19, uh, 18, or you can do AC annual catalogue 18. It's totally up to you, but for me it's just a simple case of the basics. So you just click on OK, then edit because I want the text colour to change. So I go to colour and then I hit black, done. Now I want it a bit smaller, so you just position it with your thumbs and have it where you want it and the size oops come here that's about right okay so then you can go into save and exit save and exit save watermark so you can just put stamping up one so you know what code it is save and exit okay so then you just go into watermark photo your watermark's there okay because that's where it is but you can move that to wherever it suits you on your photo you can put it sideways if that suits better oops playing funny beggars or you can keep it straight totally up to you all right and then all you do is hit the save button down the bottom all right save I prefer to save mine to camera roll save to camera roll watermark photo has been saved into your camera roll done that's it so you can then come out of that and for example i'll go into my pinterest and put it into my pinterest board so saved whoops back add pin a photo and it's my first one here 
um, and I'll put it into Stampin' Up Creations and it is a bag hmm gift ideas we'll put it in with that and it should come up but that's it saved save to gift ideas so i am just going to go and check that now so stamp up creations by me and i am looking for gift ideas I have got a few on this one. Have I missed it? <laughs> Behave, I'm filming. There we go, gift ideas. Then we've got that there. Okay. And it's got my watermark on it. Come on, focus. Playing funny beggars. But you can see it's well watermarked. It's a nice size, so it's very clear to see, but it's not obstructing my project. So I hope that's helped. Um anyone that's having problems with watermarking their images, um, it's really simple. So thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I hope this has helped. Bye for now.